We welcome you to Phoenix International Raceway out in the desert in Arizona for a hot day in the summer sun. Just three races remain with plenty of drivers still in contention for the coveted Athlac Cup Series Championship. Ryan Newman is resurging as he strikes once again on the pole after winning the last race at Atlanta. And on the opposite side of the spectrum is Matt Kenseth with qualifying woes continuing here in Phoenix starting way back in 37th today. Jeff Gordon, he's looking for redemption after his wreck last week at Atlanta. Unfortunate for the 2014, but they're still in it. And then Kurt Busch, this is a big opportunity for Kurt today to cement himself as a title favorite. Here are the point standings. You see Dale Jr. and Kevin Harvick at the top of the standings with the fan favorite Dale Jr. leading Harvick over a slim margin heading into the last three races. Now, let's take you trackside for the command. Drivers, start your engines. And here we go. It's going to be a big race today. Ten laps here at Phoenix. Now for your starting lineup. On the pole, once again, it's not a broken record. He's just that fast. It's the Rocket Man, Ryan Newman, next to Brian Vickers. Teammates, Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon in row two. And then Rusty Wallace and Tony Smoke Stewart in row three. Kurt Busch and Dave Blaney in row four. And then front row Joe sitting in row five with a nice qualifying effort today next to Casey Mears. The points leader, Dale Jr. next to Mark Martin in row six. And in row seven, we find Kevin Harvick and Elliot Sadler. Sterling Marlin and Jeremy Mayfield in row eight. And then in row nine, it's Michael Waltrip and Bill Elliott. Row 10, we have Terry Levani and Ward Burton. And row 11, we have Todd Bodine and Jamie McMurray. Row 12, we find Jason Keller next to Bobby Labani. Greg Biffle and Kenny Wallace in row 13. And then in row 14, Jeff Burton and Scott Wimmer. Row 15, we find Jimmy Spencer and Ricky Rudd. And in row 16, we have Robbie Gordon and Jason Leffler. John Andretti and Ken Strader find themselves in row 17. Row 18, Johnny Benson and Kyle Petty. Matt Kenseth, way back in row 19. Next to Ricky Craven, Dale Jarrett, and Steve Park in row 20. And in row 21, Christian Fittipaldi and Jeff Green. And then sitting in row 22, it's Johnny Sauter. So we have 10 laps around this one mile racetrack. 115 degrees is the track temperature. It's hot out, it's 90 degrees here in Phoenix, Arizona, but we're ready to go green flag racing. And it's in the air, and Ryan Newman and Brian Vickers lead us down into turn one. Johnson's gonna try and make a three wide. Oh, we got Newman into the wall. Johnson slips, Gordon into him. They both spin down the back stretch. Jeff Gordon with a hard impact to the inside wall. Turn two troubles take out championship favorites. Jeff Gordon at one time led the point standings in the Aflac Cup Series 2003 chase for the cup. And now he's got a disadvantage here. Definitely going to take a big hit today as Gordon and Johnson get together. Watch Newman get pinched by Vickers. Johnson gets loose and then... Just Oh, man, Gordon just runs right into him. Either that or Johnson kind of came down. It's a little bit of a uh, mixed bag there with those two. Both kind of were doing the same thing, fighting for the same space. And there was no caution out just yet. That's important to note when that wreck went on. But now we got new faces. Up front, Rusty Wallace and Kurt Busch. Looks like Kurt's going to dive into the inside. He's going to take the lead off of turn two. And Stewart's going to follow him through. And so is Joe Nemechek. Rusty Wallace. He's been taking advantage up here on restart. Meanwhile, the battle up front, we find Kurt Busch versus Tony Stewart. Both young, aggressive drivers. 
Let's see what they do and how they battle for this race lead. Stewart drives it in hard, but Kurt's gonna have the momentum. Heading into three. Oh, Stewart puts the bumper to him. Moves Kurt up the track. Stewart has the back out of it as well, and Joe Nemechek's gonna slip under him and take the lead. Oh, Kurt did not like that. He gets into Tony Stewart and spins him out. And as Stewart goes into the inside wall, off a of turn two, caution is out on the racetrack as Tony Stewart is stopped on the backstretch with heavy damage to his right side of the car. Here's where it starts. He gets into Kurt Busch right there and moves Kurt from first to third. Kurt did not like that. Watch him drive it into turn two right into the back of Tony Stewart. And then Stewart just goes around off of turn two there. And NASCAR has warned Kurt Busch for aggressive driving next time. He will be parked. So Kurt Busch has been warned by the Affleck Cup Series officials. Joe Nemechek is out front. With a Kurt Busch on probation behind him. We'll see what happens here on the restart. Green flag is in the air. Kurt Busch going to dive it down. They go three wide off a of turn two for the race lead. Dave Blaney takes advantage of the situation and takes the lead at Phoenix. How about that for the Buckeye Bullet? Dave Blaney to the race lead. Has never won a cup race in his life, and here he is with four laps to go at Phoenix in the lead. Trying to put some distance between him and Joe Nemechek as the cars race off of turn two and then into the back stretch through turn three. The battle for second is on. Not much of a battle, though. Kurt Busch takes it with ease. And now he sets his sights on the race leader, Dave Blaney. We talked about it at the top of the show. Big statement day here for Kurt Busch. Can he take advantage of the situation? Off of turn four, the drivers are getting the white flag. Here they come. Oh, Kurt gets into him. He slows up Blaney off the turn. Kurt has the lead, but he's got some smoke billowing from that right front. He cuts the tire up into the wall. It's a fight between Blaney and Mears, and Blaney's going to get it as he spins across the start-finish line. Big wreck as they get the checkered flag here at Phoenix with Dave Blaney with the wrecked race car and all gets the win the Buckeye Bullet finally goes to victory lane in the NASCAR Cup Series how about that for Dave Blaney been so close a couple times in his career and today he finally seals the deal as Kurt Busch gets into him but ultimately pays the price with a cut tire there it goes just let's go going into turn three and Dave Blaney gets the win. And what a battle on the last lap. You can see right there, Kurt and Dave just racing really hard. Kurt still being aggressive. And it looks like NASCAR is really going to let that one slide. This is the battle for the lead there. Kurt cuts the tire. And then Casey Mears uh, really was driving hard. He did not lift. He was going for his first career win as well. Son of Rick Mears. An Indy 500 champion. Casey trying to cement his legacy as well. Almost gets the win here today. Look, he's going to get the lead for just a brief second. But Dave Blaney with a nice crossover. As Mears kind of had to check up there. And then Blaney was taking the space that wasn't there. And Mears ends up turning him into the inside wall. Glad everyone is okay after that last lap crash heading down to the start finish line uh, Joe Nemechek ends up getting a top three out of the day nice job for Joe and Dave Blaney is going to be pulled to the front stretch where he can celebrate in front of the fans how about that Dave Blaney is your race winner at Phoenix for the point standings after eight races it's getting heated for the top spot Dale Jr. only up eight points on Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch climbs and scratches and claws his way within 94 points. Matt Kenseth had a bad day, uh, sets himself back a ways, 135 points out. Jeff Gordon as well with a bad day. Here's your 11th through 20th in the point standings. Tony Stewart still claims that 11th position, even though today he found the inside wall thanks to Kurt Busch. Your 21st through 30th in the points, Mark Martin. Not having the season that he did in 2002, that's for sure. 31st through 40th, you can see there's Casey Mears 
uh, one of our top finishers today. Finish, he's uh, 33rd in the point standings currently. And then here's some of your newcomers into the season, like Brian Vickers and Scott Wimmer, just collecting points as we close out the season. So your finishing results after Phoenix today. On the top spot is Dave Blaney. Congratulations. The top five without any playoff drivers. And then there's Kurt Busch and Kevin Harvick, sixth and seventh. Dale Jr. ends up getting a nice top ten today in ninth place. Terry Labani and Bobby Labani, both inside the top 20. Not bad for the Labani brothers. Matt Kenseth, not the day he wanted. 26th place just did not have the speed to race through the field on such a track where uh, it's really hard to pass. you got to move people to pass them. Jimmy Johnson, Ryan Newman, and Jeff Gordon, your playoff drivers that really have put themselves into a hole going uh, two races left in the season. Next week, we'll see you at Rockingham, and we'll see everyone there. Thanks, everybody, for watching. This is JG24, JM26, signing out.